so so let's get into the nuts and bolts of this, man. I mean, what's the what what brought you back to becoming the archetype? Obviously, they they did a few albums without you and things like that. And then you know what brings you back around to the band, wanting to kind of get back, uh, you know, to to your roots. Yeah, so I left the band in 2011 after doing uh, my last record, which was called Celestial Completion. Um, and then they did two tours, two or three tours after that, and a record, one more record. So I thought it was a cool record. I actually wrote the lyrics and the concept for that record, even though I wasn't in the band. Um, you know, so there was never any animosity. Just want to make that clear. Some people ask me still to this day, they're like, well, dude, why did you quit, man? I just thought maybe you don't get along with those guys. Um, I left because we were about to have our first kid and heavy metal is notorious for not, you know, paying like a full-time job. So, um, but then, you know, 2020 happened. And I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that was a time when, you know, the whole world kind of went on pause and in a sense, this was a blessing that came out of that. I had a lot of time to sit down and be creative and sort of dig into some old ideas. I'd had some demos sitting on my computer and Seth had some ideas Seth's the guitar player. Um, and Duck was just like, dude, let's play some music again, you know? Um, so this is the first time Duck and I have been back in the band together. Duck's the drummer. Brent Duckett goes by Duck. Um, Great name. But yeah, but he and I have been playing music together since 1998, 1999 uh, for what ultimately became Becoming the Archetype. So it was awesome to be back together for this. What... um are you guys all kind of in the same area or you, or was this total file sharing type stuff or how did you guys go about that part of it? So we can't do total file sharing because I'm almost 40 years old and <laughs> that just doesn't feel like, so um, here's the reality. We probably could do it that way, but to do a new becoming archetype record, I was like, this can't just be another record. Like um, I have another band called death therapy. I've done three records with that. So I can write music but writing a new Becoming the Archetype record felt like, I don't know if I can pull that off. You know, how can we recapture sort of the lightning in a bottle kind of thing? Like when we were 18 years old and we were writing music in the basement, and, you know, I don't want it to just come out and feel like any other record. I want it to come out and feel like, man, these guys just picked right up where they left off. So we insisted we had to get in the same room together. Um, right as the pandemic had started, lockdowns hadn't happened yet. We got together started writing some riffs, started writing some ideas together, just sort of turn the, turn the microphones on and recorded ourselves in a room. So yeah, it was done pretty organically. And then we just sort of took turns, um, you know, getting together with the producer and I would kind of come in and just jam stuff, man, throw the vocals on there as we went. And it was very organic. I think that's part, hopefully people can feel that when they're listening to it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a record that was pasted together. It was just like, this is just us writing tunes that make us make us feel good. So 